Oh my god, what was that? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So sorry for the dramatic intro. This palette made me feel like I was on holiday. A girl can dream, right? In today's episode, we're gonna test and review Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Video, we're gonna talk about the packaging, if it has any fallout on the cheek or in the pan. We're gonna talk about the colors as well. What's the shade range of this palette? I really love the packaging, I must say. This blue and white stripes makes me think of sunbeds on a beach. What would I give right now to be on the beach? It's not too big, not too small, so it's perfect for travel. It has a very luxurious feel to it. And when we open it, it has a mirror along with the brush incorporated. And I think it's, it's a great packaging, guys. I love it. Moving on to the colors. The top colors, uh, they're very shimmery, except this white one. And the bottom ones, they're very matte. So I think it's a great combination between shimmery and matte. It has a lot of nude colors as well. And I think you can achieve a lot of looks with this uh, palette. And I'll try to recreate a look based on the yellow tones on this palette because it makes me think of sunset and warmth and summer. And I can't wait to start applying them. I'm gonna take the first matte color uh, called Cabana and I'm gonna apply it on the eye as a base. As you can see, it already has fallout in the pan. Let's see what happens to the eye. If it's very pigmented or not. I mean, I don't see any fallout on the cheek, which is great. And I didn't really apply too much, so... Let's go on and apply a second coat. I really love this shade. It's like a mustard shade. I don't really use matte, but I think this year is the year of breaking rules. So I really like it. It's it's impressive. I love it. I went on and blend those edges because they're a bit harsh. And now we can go on to the next color, which is called Yacht. I really like this color. It's like a combination between copper and gold and it's very shimmery and I'm gonna go now and blend it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the darkest shade in this palette which is called Palm because I want to give my eyes a bit of depth. I really love this color, but bear in mind that in the pan, it looks like a dark brown and on my eyelid, it looks a bit purple. Maybe because prior to this color, I already applied two shades. So in real life, it looks a bit purple. And now we can go on and apply this beautiful yellow color called Inheritance. Honestly, you guys, I didn't know it was so shimmery and so pigmented and I applied just a bit and I was like, whoa, <laughs> you can see it from a mile, definitely. Wow, it's, this is a great, beautiful color. The last color that I really want to try is this color called Sales and I'm going to apply it in my brow bone and in the inner corner of the eye. As you can see, the pigment is there, which is great. I only wish to be more shimmery to give me that illuminating eyeshadow moment. However, I can still work with it. And it's a difference between the right and the left eye. I went on and applied mascara, lipstick. This is the final look and overall, I love it. However, does this palette worth its money? I can't help but wonder if I could achieve the same look with a different palette. However, the packaging, great. Um, the colors, amazing, pigmented, very little fallout. It really depends on you if you're willing to pay a bit more for this palette. But for me, 
it worked. I will definitely buy more from Anastasia Beverly Hills from now on. With that being said, we are at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Turn on that notification bell to see every time I post. And see you in my next video. Bye.